Hello, everybody. I'm Michael, and today I'm going to be talking about analysis of RISC-V vector performance using MCA tools. So MCA is a tool within LVM that provides performance analysis based on the LVM scheduler model. And in so most of the SIMD architectures, uh, the instructions can operate on different data sets, and the software indicates what size those operations are, and also the number of elements operated on. And this information is all encoded in the instruction itself. On RISC-V, however, um, the instructions themselves specify what data types they operate on, but there's also global state in the V-type or the VL registers, which also convey information that is important in resolving the correct scheduler class. So the takeaway here is that the information required to know the scheduling for a SIMD instruction is encoded in the instruction itself, but for RISC-V instructions, it's split between the instruction and global registers. So why is this a problem? Well, in program one, uh, MCA could see uh, an a snippet of code that doesn't have any VSET VLI instructions, so it has no way to reconstruct any of this global state. Um, one suggestion that was given to me was, well, why don't you set it as a command line option to LLVM MCA? The problem with this is that the, these registers can change state over the life of a program, so that doesn't really work. Um, and then if we take a look at a VSET VLI instruction in pr the example number three, um, that operates on immediate values. So while MCA currently ignores immediate values, why can't we pull it out from that? And that's a good su suggestion, but when we come to example four, there are variations of the VSET VL instruction that operate on registers and not immediate. So how do we solve these problems? Uh, what I propose is to use instrument regions. And the way that these regions work is that you insert a comment, in this case, it's the RISC-V ELMOL type, and it specifies the additional data that's needed. So in the first program, there was no VSET VLI, but that's okay, because we can reconstruct that data with the comment. In the second example, where uh, the V type register can change, we can introduce multiple types of those comments. Uh, program three is very similar to program one. Um, and lastly, where we're operating on registers on the VSET VL and not immediates, we can also use these comments to accomplish the same thing. Um, and I just also want to point out here that it's very natural to place these comments right after the VSET VL instruction because that is the moment where um, the state changes. So what kind of impact does this have? Well, for people who are working on RISC-V, this means that they can use MCA to have meaningful MCA reports for programs or regions containing RISC-V instructions. Um, this lowers the barrier for people who want to get involved in contributing to RISC-V uh, because they can now see how their optimizations perform using MCA. In addition, uh, the work here can be extended to do this for other types of global state. So the V type that register contains the ELMOL, which is what I had worked on, but also the SEW and the VLAN. And we can extend this for instructions that also depend on that data. And if you're on a different target where you have global register state, um, and that state potentially affects scheduling. You can also create your own custom instrumentation types so MCA's reports can be more precise for you. And so what's next? Um, right now, these instrument comments need to be written by hand by a developer, but within LLVM, we know what is the ELMO, what is the VL, and what is the SEW at com compile time. We can create a pass to generate assembly with these instrument comments so developers don't have to do it themselves. There's also LVM MCA daemon, which knows what's in the register at runtime, and we can have LVM MCA daemon inject the instrument comments automatically, and this means that your code could be compiled with any compiler, uh, not just LVM, 
and LVM MCA Damon could provide meaningful reports. Uh, and lastly, is we can we need to do some evaluation on how accurate this was. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank you very much, and I look forward to talking to you after if you have questions.